It is a job that many of us grew up dreaming about, being an astronaut and going to space. And this morning, we are joined by NASA astronaut Jessica Mir, who's talking to us live from Star City, Russia. Good morning, Good morning Jessica. Jessica. Good morning, LA. And of course, we're on a delay, but this will be, what, your first time going into space? Did you ever dream that you would make it here? I've dreamed about going to space and being an astronaut since I was five years old. But of course, like everybody knows, it's a very small chance of it happening. So I didn't necessarily think that that dream would ever come true. It still is a little bit surreal right now, thinking that it finally will. All right, Jessica, so tell us about the mission that you'll be on. And I just want to know, how does one even pack and prepare to go to space <laughs> for quite some time? I'll be going to the International Space Station for a six-month mission, and that's a typical mission for us right now. It's a very interesting place to live and work. We're up there with the Russian Space Agency, the Japanese, Canadian, and European space agencies as well. So very diverse and international crew. We are conducting experiments ranging from everything, including human physiology, to combustion experiments, even flames burn differently in space, looking at protein crystal growth, Really all types of science are represented up there. We spend a lot of time maintaining the space station as well. If the toilet breaks or if a light bulb needs to be changed, we can't call a plumber or an electrician. We need to be able to do that ourselves as well. We do spacewalks in order to upgrade systems and do repairs on the outside of the space station. So really every day is different. It's incredibly active and exciting and you know, doing a different thing all, every day. And Jessica, I talked about uh, packing. Are, are there some things or some items that you take with you to space? Do you take any pictures with you, any memorabilia? Yeah, luckily we have a lot, an amazing support team at NASA and in Russia, and they do a lot of that packing, packing and pre-positioning for us. So, for example, all of the food items that I'll be eating up there, all of my clothes that I'll be wearing for the entire duration of my mission are already up there. They were launched even before I did. So we do carry some small amount of personal effects with us, so we can select a few items that are important to us or important to family members. So I'll be bringing some of those things to represent some of those loved ones and also some of the places where I've lived and work, uh, state flags, university emblems, and that kind of thing. Thank you so much, Jessica. And you, you mentioned university. You've spent some time here in Southern California. We'll all be rooting for you up there. Thanks very much. My brother and his family actually live in L.A. and some other cousins as well. So it's great to talk to everybody there.